is stepping out in India too. But then it's a different story. Madam is furnishing a new room, and she's the type who will only do business with the manager. She's looking for the sort of furniture that's modern but comfortable. A steel chair, for instance, like one of those in the catalogue. Sorry, madam, but although we realize the importance of what you sit upon, if you don't misunderstand us, this steel is for India's war effort on the food front. It's gone into liquidation, so to speak. That molten metal, which might have been your modern chair, is being converted not into a gun or a batch of shells, but a pump for irrigating the millions of new acres that have been brought under cultivation in India. India has always been short of up-to-date agricultural equipment. That is one of the reasons why the people of India have not always been able to feed themselves. But now, thanks to wholesale diversion of metal that would normally have been used for furniture, this shortage of farming machinery is being overcome, and India is finding the long-term answer to the famine problem. What might have been pianos are now pumps. And not only pumps, but ploughs. The old wooden plough of the peasant may have been an object of sentiment, but it didn't help to produce much food. Today, sentiment must give way to steel, tradition to progress, if the teeming millions of India are to be fed. So that's the position, madam. Your chair can wait, the country cannot. <laughs>